What's up, everybody, and welcome back here for another episode here on Torque Drift on the mobile platform. We are on our Galaxy S10 Plus, and today we're going to be doing something that I was asked in the comment section before. But before we do that, we're going to collect some sponsorship crates so we can add more for the upcoming update for another build of that mysterious car that they uh, posted on Instagram that we all know is that AE86. So today we're going to talk about tires. So a lot of people asked why I was running stock tires on the back of my E46. Well, that's because I spent a lot of time driving the car and I realized that while well, those tires in the back actually helped make the car controllable. So today we're going to take a look at some different tires. We're going to go through and basically go and show the difference between the tires and why I chose the tires I did. We got to make sure we don't have any of the Nexon gold tires. So unfortunately we won't be able to show those, but we do have, we don't have any of those. So we're going to pick up a set of those. We do have 31 of those, 48, 132, and then plenty of those other tires. So we're going to take a look at some tires and why I chose to use those tires in the rear, the stock tires, other than running um, non-stock tires. So for the purpose of this, we are going to go enter into Cali Banks, and we're basically going to show the difference between how the car reacts. We're going to be using the E46, how the car reacts on the different sets of tires and why I chose the way I did. So first we're gonna start off with all custom tires on the car. And you'll see what I'm talking about of how the car handles on the bank, how it reacts, how it transitions, and how I have it set up to why I chose the way I did. And why I think having stock tires in the room 846 is the best. So acceleration and grip is pretty good with those. And when you enter in, you have a lot of speed but the car, for me, seems to be a little bit twitchy. I mean, it's snap on transition and very quick, and it runs kind of the line you want to, the line you put it in. Feather off the gas there. But it doesn't float how I want it to, and I find myself correcting a lot. So, not a bad, not a bad run on those tires by any means. So, we go back to the lobby. And we're going to throw on some other tires and see how the car reacts. We're going to go down to some pro sets of tires. We're going to go run all pros. And you will see kind of the difference on how the car reacts and how it handles. Mind you, the grip level for my starting is kind of the same on all these tires. See, I can enter in and see it's not as twitchy. It kind of, I don't have to correct as much on the lower grip tires it kind of slides a little more so you have to make sure you brake a lot because the grip isn't there so if you snap a lot faster on the custom tires obviously it's going to grip faster because the grip factor is higher so as you can see that's the way that car reacted on those now what i want to really show you is why i was running what i was running so we're going to set these on the front come on and then we're gonna go all the way to the rear and set the rear tires to stock tires. Now, the reason I have the front tires the way I have them with custom is for grip for transitions, but I like how the stock tires on this car react, especially on the bank. I can initiate in and kind of float the car up and I can kind of put the car where I wanna put it, but it also has that nice slide factor of I can slow down in the higher gears and uh, make the car run smoother. Now, I'm gonna actually redo that because that was a very bad example of that. So, the way I have my car set up, it doesn't lose any type of power or grip on the entry, regardless of tires. Now with this, I can enter in, I can kind of put it on the wall, and uh, if I didn't scrape the wall, I would have uh, ran nice on it, but you notice the slide factor is a lot easier to slide, a lot longer distance that I can slide, and at a lot slower speeds because I'm not gripping up as fast on the side bite as with the uh, custom tires. Now I probably could do some tire pressure changing and inflate tires a lot to get it to not grip like that, but when it comes to me tandeming, I found that having the stock tires 
allows me to get a lot closer um, in a tandem with those tires because I can hold the e-brake more, I can feather on the brakes more, and the car still stays sideways because it doesn't grip up. So when I'm sliding, if I'm chasing down a slower car, I don't have to worry about the car gripping up and stop sliding because of the low grip in the rear with the stock tires. But you do have to make sure if you are running stock tires, you anticipate where the car is going to go and exactly how it's going to move because you don't have that lateral side bite as you would say running custom necks and tires and stuff like that because of the quick transitions you don't have the side bite so a little quick explanation on why i run those tires instead of running full custom tires all the way around i just find that my car handles a lot better that way and personally i just enjoy it um we're gonna actually hit this tournament and uh hopefully we can come out with a win if it'll actually even let me go into the tournament i keep moving my finger and it keeps uh negating my activation so we are going to enter with our e46 here on tunnel edge hopefully we can get some people to uh run with us we're going to get some uh a little bit of practice going on right now though while we wait for other competitors the e46 one of my favorite cars my e21 is becoming closely second right now oh it was we banging the wall on our practice run so if you guys are running stock tires in the back i'd be very curious to what you guys why you're running them on the rear i know it's a lot easier for when it comes to uh, tire wear rather than having to buy a bunch of tires now i did find i could run stock tires in the front but the um the transitioning speed and how quickly i can snap the car back and forth was not there because the grip was not there so that is why we are running custom in the rear or custom in the front and stocks in the rear on my e46 because it just it, it it's dialed and I enjoy how it drives I've gotten a lot of more higher scores on this setup than I have when I was running full custom car tires but I keep hitting the same spot hopefully we get some people to uh, go against us so we can actually have a tournament here for today so as always I like thank you guys for watching come back and appreciate all the support make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter it looks like we are going to get into a tournament here here on hakone skyline hakone hopefully we can uh do this e46 justice and not get knocked out right away but who knows we could hit the wall like we tend to do a lot so a tournament here for today for you guys on this uh torque drift explaining why i'm running the tires i run um people may think i'm crazy and that what i'm saying is actually stupid but you know that's what i find works for me some things may not work for you but they work for me so this is just a little explanation for you guys. So once we get into our grid in 30 seconds, I'll be back with you guys. And uh, we're going to hit the Hakone Skyline Tunnel Edge course and uh, have a little fun with it and see if we can't come home with a win in this tournament. All right. So we are just in a grade eight. And there it looks like there's a copper drift guy down there. Who is Miller is going to be our first guy that we're going to be going against in this tournament. Like I said, hopefully we don't... Uh, you know wreck out right away looks like he's running uh christos blush's e92 Eurofighter. so hopefully we can make a good solid run here in the e46 and come out with a win in the first round nice initiation on the wall quick snap kind of right on the wall didn't want to take it into the wall Play it's a little bit gentler run it like this so we can actually run this full sweep on the handbrake that's where my stock tires come in definitely into play because i'm able to handbrake longer through that section to link that in one continuous sweep rather than having to do a quick little uh chicane switch and we are going to come across the line with a very solid run here in the first run 155 see what he can do in christoph blush's e92 and he comes with 131 so we have a decent advantage lead going into our chase so let's uh Let's see what we can do in the chase. This E46 is probably my best chase car. We can initiate a little bit sooner. Comes just on him. We cut that really short, long e brake throw. Just make sure we don't smack into him. It looks like he's gonna run that sweep line as well. Ooh, I thought we were gonna biff it into the wall and get spun out. 
We were able to hold that. I'm not sure how. Luckily, we were able to come out of that cleanly and still come across the line with a very solid chase of 42. So hopefully that will give us enough to take that win here in the first round of this tournament. Unless he came out across with an amazing chase and he had a 43, but we had a better lead, so we will come across 199 to 175. We'll take that win in the first round of that tournament. GG to you, sir. Who is Miller? GG on that tournament run. So now we're going against South Auto Man in 42 seconds. It looks like uh, we did have a much higher score, and we're already hopping into it. All right, second round. Shotgun in this tournament right now. Great eight battle. We are in the final four. So South Auto Man in a uh, Supra. I think I faced him before. I recognize the paint. So if you're watching this, I faced you before, I believe, and we've had some good battles. So we got to make sure we get a solid lead. Kind of like we did last time. Oh, I thought we were going to lose our clean lead already. We did lose one clipping point, so we are at a little bit of a disadvantage right now. But at least we did not wreck and lose our clean lead. I'm going to try and stretch this out as much as we can. Transition this back out. Try and bring this out to the wall. Get as much of those close call points as we can. Flick it back this way. There we go. As close as we can. Flick it and try to get all these last ones right on the wall. With that problem, still over a 150 lead. So I will be happy with that. But he got a 200,000 point lead. South Auto Man, you are going to be taking me out here in this tournament probably. And, uh,. GG to you, sir. 200,000. I thought my 150 was good, but we did lose one one of those points, so he's throwing in massive angle. I can see that already. Way more angle than I was throwing, and uh, definitely not going to be able to make this up in the chase. But we are going to do everything we can. Oh, he's running that outside sweep right on that wall. That's where him and I definitely differed. But nonetheless, we're gonna tr we're gonna go out with a bang and try and do our best here. Oh, we biffed it in the wall, so did he, but he did not lose his points. GG South Auto Man take me out in this tournament. So, unfortunately we didn't get to take a win in this tournament, but just wanted to bring you guys a little video with some little tandem and drifting action talking about why I run the tires I do. And he had an amazing chase too. That man is probably gonna go on to take the win. South Auto Man, GG to you, sir. So, as always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. I appreciate you guys coming back. If you guys have any more questions of why I tune the cars the way I do, let me know down in the comments. I will try to address them in the next video. I would like to do some more Q&As, some live Q&As and stuff like that here on Torque Drift. So, look forward to me doing some more live Q&As and stuff like that here on the game, on the mobile platform, the new update coming out. Super excited, getting that 886 doing some tofu delivery so as always i thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit and i will see you guys on the next one